Hello, welcome to Home Cooking with Song Jit. Today I'm going to cook this delicious, gorgeous looking deep fried fish with ginger in soy sauce. Let's take a look at ingredients. So I have one piece of ikan sekap or sea bass fish with about 600 grams. Wash and clean about three quarter cups of ginger slices, three stalk of spring onion cut into one inch length. Half a cup of water, three tablespoon of tapioca flour, three tablespoon of crispy fried shallots, two tablespoon of light soy sauce, half teaspoon of salt. This is going to be very simple and easy. So I like to start off with marinating the fish. For the fish, we're just going to marinate it with salt. Inside the stomach, also put the salt. Fish is marinated with salt. Now I'm going to sprinkle it with tapioca flour. I coat the fish with tapioca flour. This is to help to prevent the oil splatting and also help to easily separate the fish from the bottom of the pan when the fish is cooked. Okay. Once the fish is coated with flour, we're going to put it straight into the hot oil. I have prepared the hot oil here, so I'm going to put in the fish. When putting in the fish, we are not going to touch it and turn it until the fish is cooked and crispy at the bottom. So positioning the fish is quite important. Just going to put it in. While waiting for the fish to cook, we're going to prepare the sauce. I heat the pan, put in about 2 tablespoons of cooking oil. When oil is hot, I just put in a little bit of ginger and a lot of spring onions, especially the hard stem, like this. And this one I'm going to keep for garnishing. Give it a stir. We're going to stir fry the ginger and spring onion for about one minute. When ginger and spring onion is soft and fragrant, I'm putting in light soy sauce. A little bit of crispy fried shallots. And this keep for garnishing. Add in the water. I'm going to bring it to boil. Let it continue to boil for about two minutes until the gravy becomes slightly thicker. All right, the sauce is boiling. So now I'm going to. Switch off the heat and put it aside. The fish has been cooked for about 7 minutes. Let's take a look. If I can move it from the pan. Like this means the fish is cooked and it's ready. So I'm going to turn it to the other side. Cover the lid and cook it for another 3 minutes. After 3 minutes, I'm going to check on the fish. If I can move the fish around, meaning that the fish is ready. Like that. Oh. If the fish separated itself from the bottom of the pan, means the fish is okay. So I'm going to take it up and cook the bottom of the tail a little bit here. Because it's curled up just now. The pan is too small. Straighten the fish tail. 
fishtail, you fry it nice and crispy, it can be eaten as well. I'm going to fry the fishtail for another one minute. Alright. Fish is ready, so I'm going to take it out from the hot oil, put it on the plate. In the same hot oil, I'm going to switch on the heat. Now we're going to fry the ginger. When the oil is really hot, we just put it in for about 10 to 20 seconds. Okay, switch off the heat. Just rest it on the plate. Fish is ready. Now I'm going to sprinkle the spring onions. Put a little bit of fried ginger and pour over the soy sauce that we prepared just now crispy fried shallots Some more spring onions and fried ginger. Ready, delicious deep fried fish for dinner. Fish looks so yummy. Let's eat. Crispy from the outside and inside is perfectly cooked. So delicious. The fish is crispy from the outside. The flesh inside is so tender and tasty. The sauce is slightly salty and blends so well with the fragrance of deep fried ginger, fried shallots and also the spring onions. This is best served while it's hot with white rice. Perfect. I love it. If you have tried the recipe, do share the outcome in the comment below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share with your friends and remember to subscribe for more of my simple home cooked dishes like this. Thank you and bye bye.